had for you earlier and you may be aware that Vihiga County is renowned for its scenic rocks but there is one that stands out in Gevere village Mazigulu. The residents believe that Jesus actually walked there and left his footprints on that rock and that's not all. Another rock in the shape of a coffin lies only a few yards away and the residents also believe it carved itself. Here's Dorcas Wangira with those details. When the sun rises in Vihiga, the scenic mosaic of rock after rock becomes the definitive landmark of this county. For those who live here, the rocks are commonplace. But then there's this rock in Gevere, Mazigulu landscape that inspires a conviction among some people. They believe that Jesus visited Mazigulu. He walked and left his footprints. Christo alikuja, akaweka migo yake hapa, na akafanya mambo yake hapa, migo yake ilikuwa hapa, mikono yake yiko hapa. Christopher Jibendi worships at the Kenya Divine Christian Church. Peter Kosam Jibendi is a bishop of the Church of the Holy Spirit in Bukoyani. They pray here regularly. But just before Christmas, they make a special prayer. Maandiko ambayo liandikwa hapa, wazungu walitoka ngambo wakaja kuyasoma. Na wakati wazungu walikuja kusoma eh, wa, mwaka zamani za kale. Alafu wazungu walipoangalia wakaona hawafahami na tena hawaelewi hiyo wakajaribu kutoa hiyo maandiko na na, na, na wichuma ili waweze ku, ku, kwenda kusoma huko kwao. Ni kiburania ama ni kiyunani ama ni kiroma. Kwa sababu ni kitu cha ajabu sana. Hiyo haiwezi kuwa kazi ya binadamu kwa sababu jiwe haliwezi kuyeyuka wewe binadamu useme utaandika kitu juu. Hizo max kama za kondoo na vitu kama hizo hazingefanyika kwa uwezo wa mwanadamu. So wengine wanasema ni angels. They don't pray. We don't see young people, young women, young old guys wakikuja kwa maombi. Haiwezi kusema ndio wala la because mimi imani yangu I now look to Jesus. I don't believe in vitu ambao vimechorwa ama nilivikuta because I was not there. Three footprints in this special rock in Mazigulu village Vihiga County. One set of footprints and one left footprint on the other side. However, those who live here insist that this is not a shrine. Something very interesting happens. Regardless of your foot size, the minute you step your foot inside the footprint, it somehow morphs into your exact foot size. By the bishop's account, an elderly lady, Phoebe Olesi, is the one who received a spiritual revelation about the rock. 94-year-old Jafet Silingi has lived here all his life. He has seen so many visitors come and go. Wakipiga picha, wakichora, wakiena. Mpaka leo. Ani imani ya watu waku muona, ila tu ni ile imani ambayo, wakati walipo kuta maandishi hapa, ikawa romu takatifu wakafunua ya kwamba, Yesu mwenyewe alikuja na mwenyewe alikuja akiwa kwa ile hali ya kimwili ama aa alikuja akiwa hali ya kiroho baada ya kufa na kurudi mbinguni sasa akaleta ishara zake hapa ili watu wale ambao hawajaamini wazidi kuamini Yards away another rock lies here it looks like a coffin and it is believed that it carved itself four close surrounding it isn't as ancient traced to a dead body that was left here and the rock carved itself to hold the body ni kama kuliwekwa kitu kama sanduku sasa ndugu yangu mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Kamau hapa alikuwa ameonesha tena pia katika roho kwamba hapa chini wakichimba watapata mafuta mafuta kama kerosene sasa hiyo jiwe limechongwa vizuri sana ni kama sanda sasa watu huwa mpaka naangalia wakitazama hapa wanakwenda tena wanatazama kwa hiyo jiwe inakuwa ni mambo ya ajabu. Vihiga by far is a county that has a record number of denominations both mainstream and those splintered from their parent churches beliefs abound and choosing to believe that the biblical Jesus actually left his footprints here the residents here say is a matter of choice. Dorcas Wangira KTN News Vihiga